Hey everybody, welcome back to GWN. I am Noctare, your host. So if you've been keeping up with my videos lately, you know that I'm a huge fan of P.E.K.K.A. carts, but a lot of people don't have the Super P.E.K.K.A. to level 16 yet. However, a lot of people do have at least one, if not two troops to level 16, especially since we're a couple weeks in now. And the first thing for ground types to get into uh, level 16, at least if you ask me, is the cannon cart. And I've got some replays here for you from uh, the Divergent Void resident expert in uh, Bombarian carts. And that's the, uh, the strategy I want to talk about today. So, Bombarian carts, how should you run it? Well, there's a few different ways, but this particular strategy takes advantage of two things. Level 16 cannon carts, which can have three to a camp. And the fact that you've got a gazillion Raged Barbarians that you can take with you in each camp as well. So, the best way to run this particular strat is with two camps of cannon carts, one camp of bombers, and then the remaining three camps filled with Raged Barbarians. Now, if you can get your cannon carts to level 16, level 14 bombers and Raged Barbarians will be enough to carry you high into the trophy rankings. And the reason for this is that Although you get an extra bomber, their function is to open up the base so everybody else can move in. And four of them is actually enough to do that. With the Rage Barbarians, you don't get any additional units. You get an extra second of time on your Rage, and uh, you know there, there's a little bit greater hit points and um, uh, uh, damage points. <clears throat> but the fact of the matter is, it's relatively small compared to what you've got in the power of the overall attack strategy. So this strategy with level 14 Rage Barbarians and Bombers is going to work just fine so long as you can have the level 16 Cannon Carts. And as you can see from these replays, I've got five of them from Blaze Dragon. it works great. Now, I've got the level 16 Cannon Carts. I cannot speak highly enough of them. If you're going to do ground attacks, they are just simply fantastic. They really are. Having the three per camp just makes all the difference in the world. So what's the way to come at this? Well, you can attack from really any side and from any opening or any close. It just it depends on what your particular preference and, and style is. Uh, the biggest problem is, as always, those uh, crushers. And to deal with the crushers, <clears throat> you want to do one of two things. A, time your Rage Barbarians to take them out. Or B, send in the battle machine to take them out. Now you can work with the cannon carts to also get them, but sometimes running the cannon carts to take out the um, uh, the crushers, it, it's, it's kind of a 50-50 gameplay. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I mean, you can see in this one, they managed to get to the one on the bottom, but the uh, battle machine had to take out the one on the top. And that's pretty common, okay? Uh, as is the case with a lot of these ground attacks if you can keep your your key offensive troops, in this case the cannon carts, alive to the end of the attack, they're going to be able to mop up whatever remains. And typically there won't be a whole lot left to take them down. You know, in this case, what was there? Uh, there was one thing, it was like maybe a cannon, and then of course that double cannon that, boom, the cannon cart just took out. So not a lot sticking around at the end. And Bombarian carts is something that's been used for... Now, for a while now, um, I want to say that you first really started seeing it heavy use was Builder Hall 7. And the additional units we get in Rage Barbarians there really made a difference for for any of the Rage Barbarian uh, uh, attack strats. And this one's no different. When you get a base like this, you have to trickle a few in on either side to open it up first. And uh, the Rage Barbarians will do that. The, you know, it just takes a, a little bit of time to get them in there. And once they've got things weakened, you can start sending in the hordes to take down the wall the rest of the way. Send in your cannon cars and your bombers to... Uh, or your uh, your bombers, then your cannon cars the other way around to uh, do the cleanup. What's the value of the extra bomber? Um, like I said, in the initial stages of this attack, not as much. Later on, the bomber serves a dual purpose of opening up the base, continuing to clear any walls, and taking out some structures. I don't know if I have one of the replays in here now, and we'll, we'll know within the next couple minutes, obviously, but <clears throat> I have some replays where the bombers actually stick around to the very end of the attack, and they manage to take out 
the last two, three, four structures that are still waiting to be taken out. Everything else is gone, just those bombers, but they're a ranged attacker. So as long as what they go up against is an arranged defense, they'll be able to take them down. A lot of times they will get close enough to take out a crusher while your troops are over on the other side of the game grid working on something entirely different. A lot of these replays you'll see are really box bases. <laughs> they may actually look like a diamond base, but it's still a box. And when you get the big open box, cannon carts are definitely the order of the day. Prime example, this base right here. Yes, it is at an angle with top and bottom of the, of the corners there on the game grid. But if you kind of shift your head a little bit to the left, you can see that it really is just a box. It doesn't have some of the other qualities of a diamond base that makes makes a base work as a diamond base. And that's why an attack strategy with cannon carts is going to do so well. Once you get that wall down, whether it's with the bombers or you find an entry point using, say, super pekkas or barbarians, whichever. Once you get your cannon carts into the middle and they spread out, they just inflict mass damage. And that is the name of the game with cannon carts. That's how they work. It's what they're strongest at. Can you use this against other kinds of bases? Yes, absolutely you can. Uh, you see a couple in these replays. But really, the strength for cannon carts are these open bases. And again, box bases, square bases, rectangular bases. Those kinds of bases just fall very quickly to cannon cart related attacks. Now this is what I've shown on the P.E.K.K.A. carts. It's the same basic strategies here. What's going to take you down? What's going to cause you problems? Well, when you're dealing with a giant cannon. If your cannon carts are bunched up and they get behind something, gets targeted by the giant cannon, they're in trouble. They can only withstand a couple of hits and then they're done. Wherever they're at, that's it. You're, you know, you're in that final stand mode and it may or may not be useful. So you want to make sure that you spread them out. But you don't want to spread them out too far because you need them to be kind of working together and to coordinate behind your tanking troops, which can be, in this case again, either the Rage Barbarians or the Battle Machine. If you can spread them out just enough that they can do maximum damage while the tanking troops go in, and you know, in this case the Barbarians are also doing damage, you'll be fine. <clears throat> you might lose one or two of them uh, early on to splash damage, but you've got six. They're going to continue to work their way through, and it, it will be plenty. Should you hold any of them back? Eh, not really, especially not with Bombarian carts where you're only taking uh, two camps of them or a total of six. If you hold some back, what happens is you don't get quite the same forward thrust. It's kind of hard to describe. When, when you've got more of them all at one time attacking, they're going to do more damage more quickly. If you hold one or two of them back, yeah, you're still going to have the same potential damage, but you're giving the defense more time to work against you, and that's why that's a problem. So I wouldn't hold more than one back if you decide to do so. Generally speaking, I don't hold any of them back. I drop them all. I just spread them out, make sure that I've got the walls out of the way enough so that they can go in and do their damage and uh, uh, wreak the appropriate havoc, if you will. So that is my video on Bombarian cards. Hope you guys liked it. If you're new to the channel, please do hit subscribe down below. Everybody remember, hit the bell so that you can be notified when I uh, work up one of these videos. And if you got any questions or comments, drop them down below, nocturgmail.com, or catch me on the forums. On that note, I'm out of here, y'all. Take care. Keep on clashing. Bye-bye.